Hey, this is Santa Skip. Uh, I'm not, I won't be playing golf for a couple of days. Due to the fact I put my clubs in the golf shop, uh, I took them over to a place called Golf Mart over in Dublin, California, uh, right off the freeway. Uh, I've heard a few things good about, or heard a few things about them, uh, and it all say every thing I heard from them about is about good, so that works out for me. Uh, Uh, I don't know about you guys, but I will not be making, uh, or not making, uh, I will not be going over to Golf, uh, Golf Galaxy anymore, um, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, they ruined their reputation by not fixing my clubs the way I asked them to. I originally asked them when I got my when I got the bought the shafts online for a D3 swing weight and uh, clubs to be a half inch over standard in length. Well, when I finally got them back, they were anywhere from an inch and a quarter to an inch and a half over standard. In other words, they didn't cut the clubs down at all they also uh, put the swing weights at a D6 so that means they had to have added extra weight to the heads or oh, right there at the hosel when they put the clubs together for them to get that heavy because the original clubs with the graveloid shafts mind you uh, before I added any kind of weight to the heads, which they removed, which I'm, that's one thing they did do right, uh, were about a, maybe a C5, C4 in weight, swing weight, uh, with the weights I had on there were like a C7. So between the C7 and the D6, that is, what, 10 ounces? I mean... 20, almost 20 ounces of weight. There's no way them shafts of mine were 20 ounces. Especially near the head of the club. So, like I said, I'm, uh, I'm disappointed with uh, Golf Galaxy. I, get, I took them back to give them a, a chance to correct their problem. Uh, they did not. They should have corrected it for free because it was their mistake, not mine. I told them what I wanted. It was all on paperwork without what I wanted. And they did not do it. And they refused to correct their situation without getting paid more money. Which, in my books, makes them uh, thieves. Con artists. They're not... They're not True golf people, or our work, our work, they're not true workmen's. They don't know what they're doing. As far as I'm concerned, I don't. You don't try and rip people off. That's one thing you don't do. And if Golf Galaxy is that way, then the company that they are affiliated with, in my books which is Dick Sporting Goods, is the same way. So, as far as I'm concerned, both of them are no good. They're worthless companies. They, they deserve to be closed down because of their, their shoddy uh, work they do. We need, we need businesses out here that are for the people and you want to take care of the people not rip them off so I, I've taken my clubs to Golf Mart and uh, talked to a guy named Sean he's really smart uh, really friendly easy going uh, he knows what the, what the situation is and he's going to he's going to try and take care of the problem and I told him I says if you can't get the swing weight down to D3 
uh, you can get it, get it down to what you can, and I'd be happy with it. Sorry, just move it, move the phone. I'd, I'd be happy with it you know, as long as my as long as my my club shafts were only a half inch over and not almost two inches over, which is kind of redundant. Uh, I mean. They've been, they've been fine for a guy that was like 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, not a guy my height, 6 foot. So, uh, yeah, it's, they figure probably uh, I should be getting the clubs by the 20th, so hopefully um, the, on Tuesday I'll be playing golf again, hopefully. And... Uh, we'll get back to playing regular golf, hopefully. Uh, more consistent golf. Because I'll have a consistent weight, a consistent, consistent shaft with what I'm supposed to have. And they'll fit the club faces the way they're supposed to. As far as the lie angle and you know, the loft and everything. Because before I took the sabbatical from golf... I uh, had a uh, I was hitting these clubs pretty decent I mean I pretty much back to normal normal length I hadn't put any weights on them so they were probably about a C, C4 when I was hitting them good but I hit I got to the point where I hit my sand wedge so good and it's, it's sitting at a D3 Sitting at a D3 swing weight, so I'm very happy with it. And I'm more consistent with it. I've been, you know, trying to uh, get used to hitting the shorter shots with it and uh, hitting, hitting easier shots, trying to get, can I get a, a general distance that I can control with it? Would be fine, but. Uh, Everything everything takes time. And once I get all my clubs pretty much the same swing weight, I should have no problem. I mean, you've seen on one of my videos, uh, it was all about uh, it was my lob shot that I hit. I mean, there's a perfect lob shot, almost perfect. But it, it landed there close to the hole, which I was very happy about. Uh, I'm trying to get that that flop shot going a little bit more. It's going to take time and practice, uh, but again, uh, I have I have a consistent swing, like you know, consistent weight of the clubs and swing and everything. It should be no problem. But we'll see how that goes. Uh, I hope it, I hope this video finds you all well and safe, uh, especially during this COVID calamity we have going on and I hope everything else works out wondrous for you so all I can say is take care God bless have a good have a good week weekend uh, Halloween's coming up so I'll let you know how the clubs work well you'll see how they work so Love you guys. Have a good night.